someone at Microsoft doesn't like the number nine. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Microsoft is giving the world an early peek at its next Windows operating system, and it's called Windows 10. Yes, 10. Microsoft skipped over the number 9, so we go from 8.1 to 10. With this new version, Microsoft is trying to atone for its sins and bring back more of the familiar interface from Windows 7. So you could think of Windows 10 as a hybrid of 7 and 8. There's an easier to understand desktop experience with a task view and a start menu that features live tiles. Search is also in the start menu. You can have multiple app windows open, even create more than one desktop. For people who have a touch screen with a hybrid laptop device, they can switch between a tablet mode and a mode for mice and keyboards. We'll learn more about Windows 10 next year, but Microsoft is leading enthusiasts test out an early version at preview.windows.com. This Windows 10 will be the operating system name for every Windows device. Whether it's a phone, tablet, or desktop, everyone jumps to 10. If you're wondering why there's no 9, maybe someone just doesn't like odd numbers. Or perhaps it has to do with superstition. In Japan, the number 9 is considered unlucky because it sounds like the word for suffering. Time will tell if this next version will actually ease our suffering from Windows 8. In other news, there's more buzz about smartwatches. It's not easy for companies to stand out in the crowded smartwatch space, especially now that Apple threw its hat in the ring. Pebble just dropped $50 off the price of all models of its smartwatches and added the ability to sync up with other fitness apps. But Basis, an Intel-owned company, is trying to find a sweet spot in the fitness world by getting both casual users and serious athletes interested in its newest fitness watch, the Basis Peak. It arrives in early November for $200. It tracks heart rate continuously with improved sensors. It also tracks sleep and it works with both Android and Apple's iOS. It promises four days of battery life, even while constantly measuring your pulse. But it does more than give you a progress chart. It also gives you coaching and small challenges to meet your goals. It'll be great to see how much that coaching feature adds to the value of the watch over other trackers. But sometimes Sometimes you may need more of a push, or should I say, more of a shock. A new wristband called the Pavlock will send out an electric shock when you don't go to the gym when you're supposed to. It costs $200 and the company is raising money to make it on Indiegogo. It brings a new meaning to no pain, no gain. That's your tech news update. You can get more details at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.